Greg's listening to fish and I'm gonna get copyrighted. Anyway, it's about nine o'clock. Yes, I'm eating bread and butter pickles at 9 a.m. Don't judge me. No rules, no rules. And shout out to my friends who know I'm all about pickles. My friends Josh and Kel brought me these like to-go pickles from Mount Olive. They have like a resealable. They also give me like little gherkins. Mm. I was feeling down about Willie and they just came and dropped these off. So freaking precious. Mm. Also, I know they watch my vlog, so hey guys, I love you. I'm obsessed with you. Anyway, I'm sitting here editing yesterday's vlog. I'm gonna try to stay to yesterday's schedule as well. Edit until my morning call, do work, and then go back to editing later. I haven't worked out yet today. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna find an hour for that at some point. I think I'm going to do monkey. What workout are you going to do? None? Okay, then get out of here. I think I'm gonna do a gym chart workout. I keep getting emails from them that they're doing live stream workouts from PTs around the world every hour on the hour. And I think at 11 is calisthenics, which I thought would be fun. If I don't make that, then we should work out literally all day. Interested to see what PTs are in the gym chart lineup. And also how does one get on that lineup? Because I'm just wondering for a friend. Hi, Benny. What's out there? Is there something out there? Just got off my morning call. I'm gonna do a little bit more work. And then uh, I believe that there's yoga at 12.15 today. I might do that. I don't want to. I want to do my workout. I was gonna do the calisthenics workout at 11, but my call ran long. So I think on the gym shark schedule, I want to do something fun and new. Uh, ooh, gym shark buy, sell, trade. All right, schedule today. One o'clock is a high intensity interval workout with Bryn Slanny. If we don't do the hit, we're gonna do the full body. I don't wanna do legs or abs or anything too targeted because tomorrow we're doing legs, probably with an ab finisher, so I'm not trying to do double duty. Go team. Yoga starts in two minutes and I've decided I'm making myself do it. Two seconds later, realized that I was mistaken. I actually put a yoga schedule up in the kitchen just so we know if we feel like we need to get centered, then it's there each day, which classes are streaming, who's streaming them. And I guess I was reading the schedule for tomorrow because there's no yoga at 12.15 today. There's yoga at 6.30. Should we do 6.30? Maybe we'll do 6.30. But since there is no yoga, we're going to jump straight into the one o'clock hit with Gymshark. My pile of more clean clothes to fold, which I don't think we're gonna be doing laundry for a while because do not have laundry detergent. We are getting laundry detergent in our shop right from home shipment, but as you have already learned, our shop right from home is not coming until Wednesday. Wednesday. Got hit in about 10 minutes, five minutes, something like that. Five minutes. I'm gonna change into shorts. My legs are gonna get sweaty. The reason why I wanted to jump on here is because I just remembered that my 75 hard ends tomorrow. As in like tomorrow's my last day of doing 75 hard. Crazy. Crazy. I didn't even remember that that's the case because I'm not counting down the days anymore. This is just like the way I live. 75 hard has like changed me, the way I live, my habits. And that's the whole point of it, right? I'm thinking about putting on my Instagram that I'm ending it tomorrow and asking for suggestions on like things I should eat or drink and just like go nuts because <laughs> it's over um, and have fun. Why not? That means I can drink. So I think Saturday night, Greg and I are, Saturday day, hell, why not? Greg and I are gonna get a little funky. Um, <laughs> I will try to film some of it. Obviously, I will use discretion. Um, if we're falling over ourselves, you're not gonna see that. Maybe some loopiness, you know, good, wholesome fun. So I'm gonna put that on my Instagram now and I'm actually kind of nervous because I have a feeling my friends are going to be ruthless with what they want me to have. I'm gonna put it on here and I'm gonna get like 20 shots of tequila. Hmm, that could be fun. We do have tequila. She's ready. Let's do this. So, I don't know what's wrong with my brain today, but I messed it up again. I just realized that the whole schedule for the Gymshark workouts is on London time, obviously, because Gymshark is a company based in London. I don't... Xenophobic much, Caroline? Come on, it's not all about you. They do have all the previous recordings still saved on the page, so I'm just gonna go watch the hit workout that already happened. I'm not gonna be doing it live, which is kind of like, mm, doing it live and feeling like I'm with people is kind of part of the reason why I'm doing it, but they're doing a water bottle workout live right now and that just really holds no interest to me. I like wanna, I wanna sweat. 
I want to sweat. I want to move really fast. had some snafus but we got there and woo that was good that was good definitely recommend it was accessible it was beginner friendly but not too easy you got what you put into it if you're someone who's experiencing this quarantine right now and you were never really active and you decided to use this time to start building a habit then gymshark live stream workouts are a great resource there's a ton to choose from and from my small experience if the trainers are anything like that they're encouraging they do the workouts with you they provide modifications i just i'm really happy to see how accessible that was and there are some workouts out there if you're just learning this now i'm sorry to break your heart but there are some workouts floating around instagram that won't really do that much for you they look the way they do so that they look interesting but a simple basic old school bodybuilding move provides the same if not better value for that muscle group i see a lot of the gymshark clothes and these trendy but maybe not as effective workouts usually hand in hand on instagram so i was really surprised to see that they're using some old school movements but just really bringing up the intensity to get your heart going and that was cool i liked it that was only 38 minutes though and i need 45 for my 75 hard so i'm hoping to get to yoga later at 6 30. if if i do that will put me over. Greg is about to take his lunch break from work and we're gonna go on a walk, take the dog out. Apparently it's beautiful, so it would be a sin to not be outside. I think it's high 50s. Wait, as my dad would like to say, we have the technology. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 53 degrees Fahrenheit. 53. Tonight, expect a low of 44 degrees. All right, cool. So by the time we get out there, I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous. I'm really excited. And it's gonna be my outdoor workout. <sighs> Wow, can you tell that I just have endorphins the house right now? After we get back from our walk, I'm going to sit down in my office for a few more hours, pump out some more work, and then I believe later, Greg entertained the thought of going to Target, curbside pickup, because um, your girl is out of um, <clears throat> certain feminine products. And I could add it to our shop right delivery that's coming on Wednesday, but like, what's the fun in that? It's Target, let's live a little. <laughs> I would also like to get like one or two other things. So I'm going to make sure that that is something we can do. That's something feasible for tonight. We also talked about continuing our quarantine cards that we never picked up again. <laughs> we gotta do a few more rounds of that. Maybe Greg will make a comeback. Who knows? We just got back from our walk and it is beautiful. I mean, we, I would show you, but we didn't go anywhere new. We really gotta finish that, that Taylor trail at some point. New trail coming soon. My turn. Greg finally gave in, and I think he's gonna let me do a Target pickup. I'm way too excited about that, Target, I miss you. I'm trying so hard right now to not buy like a cute lounge jumpsuit to wear around the apartment. I'm like, you have leggings, t-shirts, that's all you need, you're home. You do not need a specific stay at home cute outfit. Caroline, Caroline, what are you doing? Oh, these jumpsuits are so cute. Let me show you the one I wanna get. I mean, how could you not? Am I right? We're not doing it. We're already getting a bunch of fun tea. Got my Truvia, we got my tampons. You gotta whisper it. Your period is scandalous. Why am I clicking on leggings? I mean, mm, I'm not gonna get them if they're not seven eighths though, because no, stop it. See, I just like went right back in. Oh my God. I found 
this and another bottle of hand sanitizer hiding in the bottom of a drawer in the guest bathroom. And you would have thought that Greg and I won the lottery. I was like, look what I found. We were like, we're rich. Greg wanted me to look at maybe some fun stuff. He's feeling a little down. So maybe a, uh, maybe a new Switch game or a puzzle or something. Over Smash, we have that. Mario Kart, we have that. Luigi's Mansion. Greg did say he wanted that. I would be the best fiance if I put that in my cart right now, but I'm not gonna. It's 60 bucks and he still hasn't beat Odyssey. So board games, here we go. Oh my God, a bop it. No, that's gonna get real annoying. <gasps> a Tamagotchi. You know what? No, that's too real. That's too real because I feel like a Tamagotchi right now. Okay, I've got it. I am getting the Happy Little Accidents Bob Ross board game. This is actually kind of like a sentimental thing because when Greg and I were on our engaged encounter retreat with the church, one of the other couples there had brought this game and they were outside playing it and we were watching them and we were just, that whole weekend we were like on cloud nine. It was a very happy time for us. So I thought that this would, you know, put a smile on his face. And I think that's it. <sighs> All right, order is placed. It says it'll be ready within two hours and I'll get an alert when it's ready to go. We'll see if that's actually the case. It is 4.03 now. Ooh, I gotta charge my Garmin. 4.03, so if we get a call by 6.03, I'd honestly be surprised. I'm assuming they're wrapped up. Ready for pickup. Greg has one more thing to do until we go to Target. So I decided to try to get one little chore done. I am going through, I'm getting all of my like warm weather dresses and I'm gonna try some on. Some might not fit. My body has changed a lot. So I might just, might not want. take credit for this at all but I like to think someone was encouraged this is the first time that we've been outside beyond our bubble for a week and a half so I'm just kind of like soaking it up. It's not even like there's any sights. Now I'm looking at a, a Chuck E. Cheese and a McDonald's, but, and I just saw, I shit you not, I just saw someone picking up a carry out pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. That's not acceptable. Times are rough. How rough the times have to be that you pick up a, that you have to get a pizza from Chuck E. Cheese and you can't get one from like literally any other pizza place. It is my firm belief that if you live in New Jersey, you have no reason at all to be picking up pizza from a chain. You just don't. Now that she uh, spoiled what game I got for you. Well, I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't? No. Okay, we'll wait till we go home. Just picked up our target order. I mean, this wasn't as bad as shop right the other day. No, because we got to drive up. I called. The app gave me some issues though. And just like wouldn't load. And I don't even know where she wanted to scan it. And She was totally nice about but it. But she was though. nice about it. It was, it was nice that we were able to just kind of like pop our trunk and she could put the stuff in. And then we could close the trunk again without even getting out of our seats. So I felt safe. It, it feels weird to do that though. It feels like rude and dismissive. Uh, I and normally I would get out and help and be like, oh, okay, thank you. And put it in myself. And right now that's not the right protocol to do, but it felt so weird and rude to just be like, oh, you can put it in the trunk. Oh, that's part of their job. It's, these are the times it's that we're the, in. Yeah, it's part of the business. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. <laughs> yeah. Are we home? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> All right, Target unveiling. Who are you calling? <laughs> are you calling Mitchell? <laughs> He's got better things to do. There's something in here for you. Is there a phone in here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's just okay. get on this. Oh, she looks like a little otter. I can't. Okay. I'm not looking still. Come on. First item is some green tea with coconut. Because I'm running out of tea. It's a dire situation. And um, this looks yummy. So. 
Did you know that? Some Truvia, because we ran out of sweetener. How much do you hate me right now? Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's get it's through it. It's up there, right? Vanilla caramel chai tea, because let's be honest, we're gonna go through that first tea real quick. Some C-O-O-K-I-E-S. I'm -E right, losing it. I'm losing it. For the Miss Power Paws over there. Some facial cleanser, because I'm out. Request oh, by you, body wash. Body wash. That's good. There we go. Also got Hold some on. some condish. Yeah, see, that's the that's the stuff we needed. This oh, this was a free sample. Look at that from Good and Gather Organic Apple Spinach Fruit and Vegetable Puree Pouch. I'm gonna be having that. Let's be honest. And then what's the other thing? Oh, and soda over there. But is it one of those apple like? Thank you for the other night. Yeah, it's a fruit strip. I get fruit strips. Mitchell! Mitchell, yes. Mitchell. Mitchell, you called just in time. Oh. We got Target curbside pickup and I picked out a board game to cheer Greg up and I'm about to reveal it to him. Oh, uh, okay. I would like a play-by-play -play as things are unfolding. Okay, okay. we'll do it. So, Ready? Yeah. So what, so what is Happy it? Happy Little Accidents Party Game. Remember the board game they were playing on? Oh my god, they were painting. Counter? They were, bitch, it was so weird. Like, you had to, like, paint your picture before Bob Ross. I don't even know if Bob Ross is, who that is that well. I guess you know who Bob Ross is. He's the dude with the fro that paints on television. That in the what? 90s, he, like, painted on television. No. He's such a meme. Are you kidding me? Hello from the end of the vlog. Um, so I never ended up doing yoga because, honestly, See, Greg and I got so sucked into the Tiger King on Netflix. Wild. Wild. I'm just gonna do some pedaling on my elliptical here <sighs> while I watch TV. I really just want to go to bed, but tomorrow was my last day of 75 hard, so I really I can't screw it up now. <sighs> Until tomorrow.